Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see one of the most common service and very important service in Google Cloud Platform called Service Account. So in this video, we we are going to see what is Service Account, what are the different types of Service Account, what are the different types of roles. And finally, we will do some hands-ons on how to create service account from console as well as we will see the same using GCLI command. So this is the objective for this video. I hope the objective is clear and without any further delay, let's get started. So what is service account? A service account is a special type of Google account that belongs to your application or services like different services like virtual machine, Kubernetes engine, data flow, data proc the other services in google cloud platform so instead of giving it to an individual end user instead of giving access or instead of giving that particular uh, access to an individual end user we will be using a service account to communicate with different services for which requires for that application your application uses the service account to call the google api of a service so that that users aren't directly involved so what does this particular statement tells us so to see that we are going i'll open my uh, the whiteboard so first we will see what is service account so service account and we will see one application our application constructs etl pipeline so our application constructs our application is an etl pipeline which get data like extract transform and load it gets data from cloud storage any data we are not getting into those details like and we are using data flow for doing the transformation and finally we are writing it to bigquery so this cloud storage this data flow this bigquery will have certain roles we will have some certain roles for example cloud storage the user can view the data viewer he can edit the data like editor role like he can uh, create new like he can edit those data whatever the data is he can edit it the same way when we go with data flow we'll have data flow runner and executor role and finally when it comes to bigquery we'll use bigquery job user we will be seeing what are what is role also so we will use bigquery job user and data viewer these are the roles which we are planning to assign it to this particular service account so these are the roles we will be um, this application will have this different services and serv we are creating one service account for this application like for this ETL pipeline we are creating one service account to this service account we are giving this uh, this access viewer editor data flow runner and bigquery job user data viewer so whoever the user who is associated to this particular service account or who have access to this service account can able to do this type of roles in this particular services so what does this service account basically consist of service account has roles of this particular ETL pipeline plus Google group like Google group is group of users so for example in my team I have five people who are involved in building this ETL pipeline so I have created a Google group and I have, I have created one service account and I have given this particular services to this service account so these are the roles so service account is a, is a special account where group of users as well as what are the roles associated for that application it is the place where i will integrate those things and this is how my uh, services different services for example cloud storage data flow bigquery it integrate and communicate what it has to do how the etl pipeline has to build this is what the service account is i hope the service account what is service account and how we are going to use service account is very clear it is clear now so basically service account it is to call the google api of a service so whenever we are working with our gp gcp services for example when you are working with bigquery the first thing and the more important basic requirement is we have to enable the bigquery api of that project of that project for example if you are using compute engine or if you're using kubernetes engine or if you're using cloud run cloud function the first and the foremost thing is we have to enable the api of that particular service in that project so once the api is enabled our service account will communicate all those things will happen the networking how the, it is communicating with different services all those things will happen so the first and foremost thing is enable the api of the project so it is the basic requirement enable api of the 
service in project so the next thing is a service account is identified identified by its email address which is unique to account so whenever we create one service account we will have some separate or unique email id which we are going to see as well so inside a cloud project once whenever we are creating one cloud project right by default google cloud itself it will create two com two service account in behalf of us one is compute engine service account the other one is app engine service account so you can create up to 98 additional service account so in one project we can create up to 98 additional service account as well in one project so what are the different types of service account one is user managed service account the next is google managed service account the third one is google api service account so user managed when we create an uh, service account it is called as user managed service account and google managed service account is something um, by google google itself uh, it will create service account by default to communicate uh, like for internal processes all those things so that is known as google api service account so an example of google managed service account is google api service account identified by using this mail so whenever when we see cloud service dot g service dot uh, g service account dot com it is we can see it is an uh, google api service account and user manages project number compute or developer service account or like this whenever we see this this is like we can identify or we can recognize it as uh, user managed service account and whenever we see at the rate cloud service g service we can recognize it as google managed service account so this service account is designed specifically to run internal google processes so it is uh, this service account is specifically designed to run internal google processes and it is not listed in service account section of cloud console it is not it will be not listed we can't be able to find that in uh, service account we can find it in iam or iam section so i'll show that also so by default the account is automatically granted the project editor role so by default this service account will have project editor role and once we will be not able to delete it once the project is shut down or it is deleted then only we will be able to delete it so the next thing is type of roles so we are not going to in depth on those things like basically we have three types of roles one is primitive roles predefined roles and custom roles primitive roles are basic roles which includes owner editor and viewer uh, we should be in real time or in uh, enterprise level we will not grant this primitive roles we mostly we will stick with either predefined roles or custom roles google cloud itself has most uh, predefined roles and custom role is something like to support our use case like cloud storage data flow bigquery so those use cases where user ourselves will create one uh, role that is known as custom role so the next thing is uh, creating service account using gcli and final by followed by service account from console so before that i'll show you how to see what are the roles here so to see the roles just click on this is my cloud console and i am going into my iam and admin page so inside this iam and admin page i'll here you can see roles here you can see roles right so so this is this is uh, what the, with this symbol we can identify this is predefined role with google cloud plan or console logo right google cloud console logo we can identify this is predefined uh, uh, role and with this logo we can identify this is custom role i'm not going in depth on those things i'm just showing you so this is the roles and here you can see different types of roles available so 1202 so like there are around 1202 uh, 1201 uh, predefined roles so now we will create we will see a, uh, this is where we will see like service accounts iam and admin here you can see just click on this iam and admin here you can see at the late cloud services dot g service account dot com so you can we can identify this is google managed service account or google api service account at the rate cloud service this is google managed at the rate developer this is you can identify this is user managed service account by default uh, google cloud will create in behalf of us so yes so this is the service account which we are going to create so to create service account first we will go into this console just click on this service account so we can give service account name as okay here it is 
BigQuery demo service account. Just click on this BigQuery service account name. By default, Google assign will assign the service account ID, and this will be our service account. BigQuery demo service account. At the rate project ID, IMG service account. Those things. If you wanted to have description, we can give it here, and then you can assign role. So what is the role? We will see two types of role here. One is we'll go to BigQuery. Yeah, where is BigQuery? Yes, here it is BigQuery, and we can give BigQuery user, and the other role is BigQuery data viewer. So the reason why I'm adding this is um, I'll be using it my next project as well, like in my next uh, uh, demo as well. So okay. I'll I'll give that later. So here you can see just refresh here. And here you can see BigQuery demo at the rate my respective project ID and IAM.G service program. Like here you can go to this permission and just click on here and uh, you don't need to give here. If you wanted to give service account or if you wanted to give, I told you right, like uh, um, respective users, for example, your mail ID, like this is where we will give individual users ID also, for example. If I give witness on to someone on at the rate gmail.com so he can have this access service account admin this is how we can have multiple roles also to this particular user or to group of users also we can do it here and this is where here like name description and email id unique id those settings here and permissions key if you wanted to generate key like uh, create new key the json key this is very sensitive file so if you create it you have to keep this particular json file handy or very in a safe place we have to add this here and next we will see we will go to this this is my service account bigquery demo at the rate service account to if you wanted to give access the one which i explained you know like we will give that access here so what is our service account? This is our demo essay. So here, here you have BigQuery data viewer and BigQuery user. If you wanted to add other role also, you will be able to add it here. For example, cloud storage. Cloud storage, uh, here you can have storage object admin. Then click this, save it, and just you will be able to find it here. BigQuery data viewer, BigQuery user, storage object admin. And if you wanted to add one more role, just related to data flow runner. So cloud data flow. So where it is data fusion, data flex deploy. So it may be data flow. So here you can see data flow admin, data flow developer, data flow worker so just save it so here this is how this service account will have respective access and uh, i didn't add any user to it if i have add user to it then we will be able to see that user also so this service account will have this many access so basically this service whoever have access to this service account they'll be not able to create or edit or delete any service related to bigquery data flow storage of storage also they'll be able to do worker role user role data viewer role but not the other role if they wanted to use we have to give or assign that role uh, to this service account so i have shown you how to create service account from um, console now i'll show you how to create service account from uh, gcla i'm just going into my service account and i'm just refreshing it here so g cloud iam service account create what my service account my sa357 and the display name is my service account just click on this and you will be able to see it and if you get this message created service account my sa357 and here you can see it okay i'll open it here and uh, i'll just refresh so this is going to take yeah here you can see my service account my service account 357 and this is a description and if you wanted to generate you can generate this key as well so the same way next thing is we will see uh, this service account by default for example my essay and go to this iam and my essay here you can see it by default it has editor role it doesn't have any other role so now 
now we will see G Cloud Project IAM and the same thing. I'll copy it. I'm giving the same role editor as well. G Cloud Projects add IAM policy binding. The project ID and member is service account respective my SA three five seven at project ID IAM dot G service account and the role is editor. Instead of editor, you can give viewer as well. And it will take some 10, 5, 5 seconds. So here you can see what are the roles here. Members, deleted, and what is the role? Computer engine service, BigQuery user, data viewer, all those things you have deleted. We have added it. So just go to this uh, IAM admin and just reload this page. I'll close this. Here you can see my SA three five seven. It has only viewer role. It has only viewer role. My SA three five seven. My service account. It has viewer role. The same thing. Whatever we have given here. Instead of editor, I have given viewer role as well. <coughs> yeah. So uh, that's all for this video. I have learned. Uh, I guess you have learned something new from this video. If you have any questions or any doubt, uh, please post in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible. Uh, with this service account, I'm going to uh, do one lab session, like complete lab session on like compute engine uh, BigQuery. In the next video, I'll post that uh, particular link of that video in this comment section. Please take a look at it that as well. Uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. I'll see you on the next video with interesting content. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.